Philip, I want to tell you a story. <laughs> and like all good stories, it starts like this. Once upon a time, there was a father. And in case you can't figure that out, that's me. <laughs> this father had a wonderful little boy. He was very happy. But then one day he found out that his wife was going to have a little baby. So I pray, Lord, if it's your will, you a little girl. And he did. I was the first person to hold her in my arms. And I looked at her and I said, Lord, make her like a mother. And he did. She was loving and giving and so good and so kind. But then I realized I was getting left out. <laughs> so I said, Lord, make her like me. And he did. She could drive a truck and a tractor. She could load hay and strip tobacco. You realize what you're getting. <laughs> but at the same time, she was opinionated. Emotional. So I said, Lord, that's enough of that. <laughs> Make her like you. And he did. He gave her a desire to serve people. She loves people. She gave her life to be a nurse. She's brought people back from the dead. And she's held the hand of people and breathed their last breath. He gave her a heart for missions, and she's trekked all over the world. Pushed canoes up swollen rivers and laid on the floor while bullets whizzed outside so she could tell people about Jesus. But still, something was missing. So I said, Lord, make her happy. And she made you. You see that look on her face? I never saw that until she met you. And I'm grateful for that. Today I'm giving you the best thing I had to give. And I just wanted you to know before I do that how hard me and God's work to get her ready for that. <laughs> mind if I give you one little word of advice. Me and God's worked hard. Don't screw it up. <laughs>